with that other big story we are following for you out of San Jose, where the city is moving forward with setting tougher restrictions for the unhoused near schools. Front for Sarah Stinson joins us now live in studio after listening in on a meeting where advocates say that the leaders are criminalizing the homeless. Sarah? Vicki, today leaders unanimously approved a ban on RV parking within a school zone. Leaders say the ban is one of the policies designed to protect children. The city plans to first try the restrictions at three of its schools before expanding it citywide. But homeless advocates say this pushes the unhoused out with nowhere to go. San Jose City Council approved an RV ban Tuesday. It will first be piloted at three schools, Independence High School, Shirakawa Elementary School, and Challenger at Biriessa. Mayor Matt Mahan says the city needed to pass tougher restrictions because he says students don't feel safe at school when tents and RV encampments are nearby. Sometimes being harassed on their way on and off campus or having break-ins on campus, even found needles on their picnic tables. Back in 2021, the city voted to restrict encampments within 150 feet of schools, but that's become more of an informal guidance. Council members say the new initiative will give the city authority to put up no parking signs and tow RVs within the school zone. Homeless advocates have been opposing this measure since January, and they continue to do so. Do you see a dog on the side of the road? Do you not pull over and take that dog for help? Why are we treating our people less than dogs? You are criminalizing the unhoused people because they don't have a home. Maybe they shouldn't be near schools, okay? But, you know, there's no place for them to go. Mayor Mahan agrees that while they work to protect schools, they also need to provide more support to those being pushed out of the school zones. We need to have safe managed places, whether that's safe sleeping, safe parking, interim shelter, permanent housing. We need a place for someone to go when we abate them. Council member David Cohen expressed frustration saying the approved Berryessa RV safe parking site in his district would help provide a place for people to go but it continues to be delayed. I have been very vocal about the need to expedite the site at Berryessa to be able to get RVs off the streets and give them and offer them places and I will continue to push for that to be done as quickly as possible. San Jose City Council will have a second reading on this next month. Once it gets the final approval, the city says it'll be months before people see any signs of enforcement as the Department of Transportation needs to do a safety assessment. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting in studio. Back to you.